Today, we create one of the most overpowered weapons in all of Insane Craft. It's called the Infinite Fracture Staff. It fires a projectile that blows up into a bunch of bombs and takes down everyone with them. With each of the smaller bombs dealing 33% of someone's total health damage, it makes this thing super crazy powerful. Also, I'm gonna ask you guys for a big favor. If you couldn't tell from my voice, I am very sick right now. But I really do love this series. And I love you guys as well. And so I felt bad not having the episode out here today. So when I say that I poured my heart and soul into this video, I mean, I really did. And I know my voice might get annoying, but please, it would mean the world to me if you watched this video from start to finish. It really was a ton of fun to film, and despite being sick, it's what I love to do for you guys. Oh, also, Sunday, you're going down! All right, now I'm sure that Jerome from the future already showed off exactly how this staff works, but when I say it's super overpowered, I mean, it is absolutely ridiculous. Also, yeah, a lot of people ask me questions about that, and I shoot the intros after the actual video. <laughs> But in order to build the infinite fracture, it is not an easy task at all, which makes sense considering how powerful it actually is. Now, in order for this thing to work, you need to get yourself a sunder log by cutting down a piece of the sunder tree, which should be relatively one of the easier things. Then we have something that's gonna take a little bit of time and that we did a long time ago in the past, and that's make a galactic fragment. Now, although we haven't actually made the galactic fragment itself, we've gone ahead and done the task in order to do that countless times. We have the Aurorus blade, for instance, the moon glow throwing knife, and even the Novacron bomb. So we need to get four of them in order to build a single galactic fragment, which considering we never really use our bomb to begin with, I think that's what we're gonna say goodbye to. Then there's the fractured ingot, which you take a deviant gold on a fully enraged super mutated stray. And deviant gold you get from killing deviant pigment. Now, none of that is too difficult at all, but here's where things actually start to fall apart. The crystal diode and the crystal fins. Now the crystal diode has a little bit of a crafting recipe around it, none of which is actually that difficult. The only thing we've never gotten before is high tolerance wire by getting metal branches, which I'll explain in a little bit. It's actually relatively easy. But the annoying part is going to be collecting ultra-growth crystallized gel that we then have to use on two different mobs from the crystal crevice biome. Reflectals and Clysters. Now, easily enough, we've actually gotten all these things before, so we can duplicate them using our Power Star. However, we don't have any super mutated bone meal, but the good news is that we're going to be able to get some simply by getting the fractured ingots to begin with. Seriously, you kill the super mutated stray after you're done getting the ingots, and the rest is history. So in order to get started, let's go get the Sunder Log cut from the Forge Fire Dimension. Now we have to make our way through this maze in order to try and find the Sunder Tree, but after that we have to cut it down simply without dying, which realistically shouldn't be difficult, especially with our mirror shield. So let's go do that. All right, and the Sunder Tree should be right around the corner. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and cut down one of these logs here. Oh my gosh, this takes a while. Okay, please nothing try and kill me in the meantime. Please nothing try and kill me in the meantime. I'm actually absolutely terrified. And also guys, I know for a fact once we make this weapon, we are going to become such a target for Sunday. I mean, let's be real here. With this weapon, we'll be able to kill him with the snap of a fingers. A Thanos snap of a fingers. Well, I might be sick, but I can still make good puns. Also, shout out to the real fans who are still watching up until this point. Like, for real, I can't express enough how much time and effort we put into these videos. And especially as you can see, I'm pretty sick. But I love this series so much. And I love you guys as well. And I wanted you to have a good episode of Insane Craft. So truly from the bottom of my heart, th just thank you. Thanks for watching so far. I promise you won't be disappointed at the end. All right, now while we're by the Sunder Tree, there's actually another area that we have to go to that's very close by that allow us to go and get the wires that we need, or sorry, the metal branches. More or less, we have to cut down metalloid logs, which I don't think we've ever come across them before, but I know exactly where to find them. All right, so here they are right here. So it's a bridge to the manufacturing outpost. Now we should be able to find some metal trees around here. I'm just not entirely sure what they look like. That looks like what would be a metalloid tree. Perfect. So we have to cut this down without dying. And as you can see, we are losing health rapidly. Luckily, our mirror shield though has helped us out tremendously by allowing us to take out any mobs that hit us. In case you missed that episode, the mirror shield reflects 100% of all damage done to us and our armor reflects another 30%, meaning we hand back 130% of all damage done to us, more or less making us invincible. All right, that's two of them. We just need one more of these metal branches and we can get on out of here. So I'm going to leave this to mention for now. We're going to be back a little bit later to kill the Reflectals and the Clysters. However, at the moment, there's not much for us right now. So we're going to go and collect all of our items together, get everything ready for the crafting, and see how far along we can get. Oh, and of course, prepare for the Fractured Ingots, which isn't going to be super difficult, but it is going to be quite frustrating. 
Okay, after scrounging around the base for a little bit of time, I actually found a lot of the materials that we needed already. So, in order to make the Ultra Growth Crystallized Gel, all we need is at least one piece of super mutated bone meal. Because like I said, we can kind of duplicate any items we want until the Dark Lord finds out and kicks us off the server. Shh, don't tell the Dark Lord. Or Sunday either. We also have the five Deviant Gold, which we're going to take right now, because that's what we're going to be using against our not-so-friend, the Super Mutated Stray. Now, we have a Rod of Ultimatum as well, in order to try and turn the Stray into a Super Mutated creature. And from here, we also have the Synthetic Fivers, the Master Forge, and actually, we might be able to use those to craft a little bit of the puzzle. So let's see, High Tolerance Wire, and yes, we can actually. So all we need left is the Heavy Crystal, but like I said, that's going to come a little bit later for us. We got to kind of walk before we can run so let's leave that behind let's also leave this behind and this behind and now we can kind of get moving on trying to find a stray i wish there's an easier way to do this but literally we just have to scour the world and eventually we'll run into one this is gonna take a while 11 minutes later all right it looks like we finally found one so here we go now it says we have to use it on i believe it has to be an enraged oh they always make you do the super enraged ones all right there we go that's a deviant one more time now all right, so we made him into a super mutant. Now we have to go ahead and get him very low on health in order to fully enrage him. And then from there, he'll start flashing like a red color, which at the moment, he doesn't look like he's taking any real damage. Okay, that's kind of strange. Is this not... Well, above 80% life. Okay, that's us. He should be taking serious damage. Let me hit him with a sword once. Twice. All right, there... Oh, he's enraged now. All right, now we have to go ahead and use his on him without dying. Yes, we did it. We did it. Oh my god, it fell to the floor, though. It fell to the floor. Where is it? It's right here. There it is. There it is. There it is. Yes, we got it. We got it. We got it. Okay. Perfect. The fractured ingot is ours. Now, if we go ahead and kill him, we can go ahead and get the bone meal that we need as well. Oh my gosh, this is no joke. This is literally no joke. There we go. No! We killed him and he killed us. Oh my gosh. Well, the good news is by the time we got back here, it didn't disappear from us. So we do have the fractured ingot and the super mutated bone meal, which if we bring back to the base, we can go ahead and duplicate right now in order to get 64 of each of those, which is beyond overkill. But, you know, I mean, what else are we going to do with it all? I mean, realistically, we should probably throw it out, but I like to keep at least one of every Lost Infinity thing that we have on hand. That way I can duplicate them. And I guess, to be fair, realistically, I have like a stack of 64, pretty much every Lost Infinity thing we've ever done. Because why would I not? It makes my life so much easier. All right, so first things first, we need the second fractured ingot. So we can just drop that on top of there. And oh, would you look at that? Just a casual couple extra stacks of it. No big deal. I mean, honestly, we can kind of just throw this away. <laughs> And then we just need at least one extra super mutated bone meal. And oh, would you look at that? It just so happens to be like two stacks. <laughs> and we'll just throw the little extras over here. And perfect. Now with this, we should be able to make the ultra growth crystal. So if we take the little bits that we have right here, go over to our good old crusting table and boom, there we go. And now that we have this, we can go ahead, duplicate that up. Oh, it only does one at a time. Okay, well, it's good to have a few of these on hand because they are single use. And if I miss, I think they go away forever. So realistically, that is probably for the better to have that many on us, just in case. All right, I'm going to tuck away these for now. But so far along the path, we've actually done a relatively good job. But now where things get spicy. So we need to grab our Forge Fire pickaxe, go into our little teleportation lava pit. And now we have to find these guys in the Crystal Crevice biome. All right, so here it is, everyone, the Crystal Crevice biome. Now we need to watch out for these two different mobs and hit them with the Ultra Growth Crystallized Gel. And then after that, hopefully not die. Is that one of them? I don't even know what they look like. He, oh my god, he's invisible. Oh my god, he's literally invisible. Is that, is, that, is that what he looks like? I don't know. What is it? What is his name? I literally can't catch his name. And then he keeps... What does it say? What does it say? What does his name say? That says a, sh a, a shimmer? Did that say a shimmer? Yeah, it's a shimmer. Okay, that's not it then. That's not the guy. Okay, we need to be looking out for a reflectal or a clyster. Okay, that's another shimmer. Oh, what is that? That's a clyster. Okay, here we go. And... Oh god. Oh, the Amagun gun one hits them? Uh, we won't tell anyone about our new discovery. Right, guys? All right, so we've already got the Clyster. Now we just need to go and get one of the Reflectals. But I don't know what they look like. Uh, that's a Spiker. Okay. You guys aren't it. Oh, jeez. Because of our Mirror Shield, things keep flying into us and then dying. Is that? That's a Reflectal. There it is. 
All right, perfect. He's getting bigger. And is he done yet? Why is he not dying? Why is this not killing him? The admin gun is not killing him. Oh, no. That's quite bad that the admin gun is not killing him anymore. Okay. Uh... What just happened? I am so confused right now. But I guess we're going back in. Okay, so guys, I have a theory on exactly what was going on there and why the admin gun didn't work. When I shot the admin gun, it made the same noise that the Axiom Celestarium makes whenever a ranged weapon goes by it. I'll let you guys compare the sounds. So, if my editor would be nice enough to play the sound from earlier, and then play this one. If you listen, they're pretty much identically the same sound. So I'm quite certain that's what happened, that one of these mobs more or less has the exact same effect as an Axiom Celestarium. Now, I don't know how that bodes for us in terms of like our abilities to actually kill that thing. I think it's gonna make things a lot more difficult, but I think we now know what we have to do, and that's melee weapon it. Also, when I died there, it did look like it died as well. So I'm kind of curious to see if maybe did he die? Did we get what we needed? Let's see. Hard crystal. Is that it? I don't believe so. We got heavy crystal, but we need crystal fins. Oh, there they are right there. Oh my gosh. Okay, perfect. Yep, those are crystal fins. So as far as I can tell, we have everything we need except for the galactic fragments. And this part's going to be a little bit annoying. But before we get on to that, there is one piece of business that we need to attend to. Let's take our crystallized wing right there and boom. That is enough for a lifetime. And if we go ahead and take the rest of these as well, we can craft yet another piece of the puzzle as well. We can do the crystal diode, and there we go. So now, literally, that is all the pieces we need, except for this galactic fragment. Now it's just going to be a game of finding exactly where in the world I put my Novacron bomb. Which, honestly, is a statement that should never come out of anyone's mouth. Wondering where they put a Novacron bomb. Ah, oh, there it is. Perfect. Exactly where I thought it was. Alright, now the other thing we need to do is dust off our galaxy beacon. So we come to this dimension, and I don't know if you guys remember it, because it did have a different appearance last time, but this might ring some bells. So yeah, we gotta go through all those minigames again. But here's the thing. I've already done that on video three separate times. And I'm going to save you guys the wait. Through the power and magic of editing, we can make what would normally be an hour-long process into seconds. And there they are, all of the different bombs. And now we can go ahead and create for ourselves the good old galactic fragment. Also, real quick, you ever notice how I don't think they ever got the wands working? They always said it was going to be like work in progress, and to my knowledge, they never finished it. So yeah, I don't know, I just wanted to throw that out there. All right, here it is, Galactic Fragments. Now let's head back to our secret layer and craft this staff already. I honestly cannot wait. Also, so that we don't have to do that again for a future thing, because otherwise that would be catastrophic for us. I'm just going to go ahead and drop that on there. Hey, it didn't duplicate it. What the heck? Ah, there we go. Perfect. And there it is, Galactic Fragments. All right, let's take the rest of this out of there as well, and I believe we should be all ready to craft the Infinite Fracture Staff. Oh my gosh. Fires a projectile that splits into a bunch of bombs. Small bombs deal 33% max health damage each. We gotta go give this thing a try, dudes. All right, so first things first, let's not use it on anyone. Let's use it on Biffle's house. And... Okay, that looked awesome. So I think the big bomb deals a lot of damage, and the smaller bombs deal 33% damage each. That is so cool. Like, look at this. Dude. And it doesn't deal any damage to me, so I can shoot the ground with it if anyone gets nearby. Dude, we gotta try this out on a mob. We gotta find a mob. All right, so we got a zombie. I wanna go ahead, and I'm gonna try and make it a deviant, and let's see if we can super mutate it. There we go. That's a super mutant. Now you ready? Here we go. Let's fire away. Dude, I could basically spam this thing. Oh my gosh. And that should be dealing like 33% of their health, right? Dude. Dude. Why is it not working on them? Is it only supposed to be for players? Um, well, now I'm very concerned. They're simply multiplying and it is not doing what I thought it was going to do. Wait. That one's fully enraged, so I guess to be fair, they are definitely getting fully enraged, but... It doesn't seem to be dealing the finishing blow. My assumption is this is only supposed to work on players, because 
Otherwise, I don't really know what's going on there. Oh, we got one of these guys. There we go. Let's see the Skyworm. Actually, it's kind of hard to hit a Skyworm in mid-flight, isn't it? Let's see. Is it working at all? It's so hard to tell. Oh, there's another one up there, too. I think we're going to have to wait for the future in order to try this out on someone else to see just how powerful it really is. But it does look awesome. I will say that much. Guys, the zombies are multiplying. I think I made a mistake. 